What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to quickly talk about Alone in the Dark. They got this out of the way, actually, earlier today before the Game Awards, and it's probably still going to get buried anyway, but I want to shout out because I honestly really, really respect uh, their decision-making here, and it's that Alone in the Dark has been delayed. Now, I will say, maybe controversially, I don't think the new date is any better, but the reasoning, at least the reason they say, for why was moved in the first place I think is actually pretty darn honorable so this game was actually supposed to come out mid-January I think like January 16th or 14th somewhere right in the middle and it was going to kind of kickstart 2024 you know this game comes out but then after it you got the Tekkens of the world and now the last of us uh, two remastered and you know like a dragon infinite wealth there's a lot at the very end of January and very early February so you know the game was never in the the most fantastic spot to begin with and they issued a statement saying Saying that it's been moved to March 20th, 2024. Now, again, I don't think that's amazing, and we'll talk about why in a second, but I want to say the reason, and the, the reason is to avoid crunch. Now, I'm not going to get all controversial or, you know, these kind of things with crunch in the gaming industry. I think it's a somewhat sensitive topic and it's a more like nuanced kind of topic but in this specific example I think it's a win-win for everybody I think everybody can get behind it right there's really no issues with it and it's pretty much that you know if this game were to come out in January and this is what they say if the game comes out middle of January they have to work extremely hard long hours maybe weekends all this jazz right during the Christmas break they want to give their team an actual holiday break whether it's for Christmas you know if people celebrate whatever but during that time, they want them to actually, you know, be okay and, and have an actual holiday. Whereas if the game came out as intended, they would really not be able to do that because this, you know, and this is common in gaming industry, right? There is crunch. But also, even if you eliminate a lot of crunch, right, you don't see these stories anymore, I would argue the most crunch for pretty much any game on the face of the earth, let's say, is when the game is coming out. That last month, month and a half, that is where these people, you know, you'll hear stories about them not leaving the office, all that jazz, staying, you know, staying there overnight and all that. So I really do respect that, that they want to give these people time off. And if the game was going to come out when it was going to come out, you know, two weeks before that, two and a half weeks is Christmas and is New Year's, right? So I think that's awesome. Now, I will say, I don't know if the new day, is all that great. In fact, I would maybe, if I were them, consider moving it another time to just try to find a window where you can sneak in and you really don't have a lot of competition. Look, I've talked about it. I say it every time, really. We talk about delays, especially if they're more under the radar games. Try to pick your spot. And I understand every single time I say it that it's easier said than done, right? These companies sometimes don't have the luxury of waiting it out and saying, oh, there's a week right here that there's absolutely nothing and this is a great spot for us. Most times they can't do that. So I do understand that even though I'm saying it and like you can look at the calendar and say, eh, March 20th, are you sure about that? Honestly, most times they don't have a choice. And why? Well, this actually comes out two days before Dragon's Dogma 2 and the Princess Peach game on the Nintendo Switch. Neither of them are the biggest game of all time. It's not like you're releasing next to GTA. It's not like you're releasing, uh, you know, a day after Hogwarts Legacy, say this past year, you know, these, these big kind of times, the end of October with Spider-Man. It's not necessarily as big, but they are both absolutely bigger. So Dragon's Dogma and Princess Peach, I do think you're going to, I mean, overwhelm is maybe not the right term, but I I think it's just going to take eyes away from a game like this. So, you know, again, if it was me, and I understand, easier said than done. It's not me. But if it was me, I would maybe look at that date, maybe in another month or two, and say, okay, let's see what games are coming out in March. Let's see what games come out in April. We really don't know any games that are coming out in April. So maybe you'll look at the schedule and say, okay, well, we can, you know, there's a a gap, a two-week gap right here let's maybe move it there Um, we have seen that like Alan Wake you know it has happened before right so I hope that they do it just to kind of give the game the best chance that it has Um, but at the same time I think this was absolutely the right move so let me know what you guys think make sure you're subscribed bell icon turned on and I hope to see you all on the next one